Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a wheel rotating transition effect easy in After Effects. First you will need two videos of a wheels like this and we will need to mask out both wheel layers. Let's begin with the first clip, to mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha select an elliptical tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, enable perspective and then hit on tracking button. If the mask moves, make sure to stop tracking and correct the mask, then track it again. Once tracking is done, click on save and then close Mocha AE. Expand mat now and click on create AE masks. Now make sure to duplicate your first clip, then select bottom one and press M on your keyboard to open masks. Make sure to delete mask on that layer. Also delete Mocha AE on it, we don't need it anymore. Select masked layer and rename it to wheel only. Now double click on anchor point tool and move the anchor to the very center of the wheel. Then open wheel only layers transform settings and click on anchor point and position stopwatch icons. Go forward a bit and correct the anchor point, make sure it stays centered till the end of the clip. It's all centered, but we will need to correct the anchor point one more time once we will finish with the rotation effect. Press R on your keyboard now to open rotation, then scroll to the moment from where you want rotation to begin and click on rotation stopwatch icon. Go to very end of wheel only layer and change rotations to one time. It rotates, but as I said we will need to correct the anchor point again cause the wheel is not rotating properly. Press U on your keyboard to see all created keyframes and scroll to nearest position and anchor point keyframes, then select anchor point tool and correct the wheel. Let's check it now. Nice, it's fixed and that looks way better. Now select rotation keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select, edit speed graph, make a smooth curve like mine. Also make sure to enable motion blur on wheel only layer and first step is done. Let's quickly check it and then we can jump to another clip. That looks pretty cool and smooth. So now we will need to do the same steps on another video. I will skip this part cause you already know how to mask the wheel and correct the anchor point. The only difference will be at a rotation settings and the curve in a graph editor. Once you are done masking and centering the anchor point, press R on your keyboard and at the very beginning of the second wheel layer click on rotation stopwatch icon. And on that wheel layer our rotation should start from rotating, make sure to set it to negative 1. Why negative? Cause the first wheel layer started rotation at positive values and on a second wheel we need a negative value to create a continuously rotation effect. Now scroll to the moment where you want rotation to end and then change rotation to zero. Select both keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make a curve like mine. And here we have that issue with a wheel, simply let's do the same to fix it. Select anchor point tool and center the wheel. It's all fixed and now we can check it, but before let's enable motion blur on that wheel layer as well. That looks really cool and smooth. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.